Hi ladies and gents, right I'm back. Now what I've done so far is I was just sorting this out. Um, I've put the side panels on and all I did for that was to cut out two discs. Um, I didn't cut them to the edge. As you can see the flower just, I've just missed it slightly because um, I didn't want this to start peeling off. So if you cut it inside the disc that you're going to need for that then that will help a lot. And if you glue it down safe enough it's not going to come off. Now I'm not painting the inside of the box because what I've done is I've used a piece of felt and to get that to fit like that all you do you don't need it to go all the way to the front at all you don't need it so if you see inside I'm just going to show you can you see that inside or what I've done is I've only taken the felt up to where the notches are um, the knots for this string in the front and I've put that in right and the way I've done mine is I thread it through from this side um, knot it and then I've just threaded it back in and left it straight across which gives it the, say, the right amount of flexibility it needs to put over and then knotted it and cut it off but the felt I've just put it underneath the knot and then I've glued it onto this but to get that shape obviously you don't want to be doing it wrong the first time oh by the way I've put the handle on as well now before you put the handle on lay it flat onto the felt and what you need to do is just sh draw around that shape and of course you don't want it to go right to the end because you don't want it to catch so what you need to do is when you cut it is um, obviously cut the shape at the top but just bring in the side slightly so that it just slots straight in and you're actually just doing it that width and then glue the box not the felt and then when you've got done that push the felt in move it about it because it's wet it is flexible and then pull it down to where you, if you've cut it off at the right length that you need then that's fine there you know I what I did first before I glued the box I put the felt in measured it cut it trimmed this down to what I needed and then um, glued it on and stuck it in and that's brilliant for that just do that with the box that's the right what um length and there you there you go sorry you've got a nice little box but we are going to trim it up a bit we're not going to leave it like that and first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to use oh, i'm going to do it now um i'm going to edge it and to do that of course i'm going to use my finger dobbers this is where i do find they come in handy and um because I've got that bronzy colour, I'll use a new one. Um, and just let me see. I think I'll do the... Let me just see what colour I've got. Because this is like a plum colour. It's a lovely paper, really pretty. Hold on, guys. Here's mahogany. Mmm... Let me just test it on a piece of paper. Um, yes, actually, I like that. Yeah, I think we'll use that. Give it a nice... Oh, I don't know. I don't want it to... No, well, I'm not going to use that. Let me just see. I don't want it too dark. And I don't want brown because it's plum. So what I'm going to use is the tattered rose. Hopefully that'll work. That'll be what we want. So I'm just going to take the finger dobber. See, I find this really light. I don't find it dark at all. And we'll just see how we get on. Yeah, that's alright. That'll do. I'm actually going to put some lace on it so it really doesn't matter. But I just want some of the colour to show. Once the lace is on. And I'm just doing the edges like that, basically really quick sorry I'm not even showing you so I'm only doing the edges and I'm I'm doing them about half an inch in because like I say I am going to be putting some lace on so I do want some of the color to be showing
and I just love these boxes they are so so pretty um, although I will be putting some lace around there again I do want some of the colour to show Um, and I think that'll do. If we need any more, we can always put more on, can't we? And that's it, that's all you need. So I'm just going to pop that back into my tub. Pop the lid back onto that, move it out the way. And I don't want that again, so that's that. Now, what we're going to do now is put the lace on. Now I've got some of this black lace. I do want black lace on it. I love this lace. It's only thin and it's elasticated a little bit just gives it a little bit of flex ability for you to do this now i always have to make sure i've got this the right way around. that's right i think that's right i hope <laughs> now what i'm going to do and i'm going to show you if my glue gun decides to work and before i do that i'm actually going to get another one out and they're hidden behind my boxes let me just see Today, is it? I just need space, man. I need space. Right, I'm gonna have to move this stuff about, uh, bring this forward, and it out one of my. Sorry, it's a little hard for me to get hold of because it's stuck behind these units. I don't have any room. Get a couple of these sticks out so I don't have to keep going back in. Right, so. To start with, I'm only going to put a little bit on. Um, now, where do I want to start it from? That's the point, because I'm going to go all the way around. So I'm going to start from the front edge, might as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit on like that. Take the lace, when I can find the end before it dries. And... Now, do I want it that way? No, I need it that way, but no, we'll do it that way, why not? I'm just going to pop that on like that. I've left it over so that I can cut it neat. Now what I'm going to do is to work my way around, just doing a little bit, about an inch at a time, because I always like to do that and you, on certain things, so you get a nice neat edge. you can handle it better actually. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this. I'm see oh god I'm used to something. Never mind the stringy bitch you can take all of that off later. Now we get into a corner and my glue gun decided to pack him on me. And if you quickly do that and then twist, you bend that corner and it comes up a perfect corner if you twist it really quick. Like that. And so we make sure you've got enough to play with. Or work with, should I say. And I know I've put the handle on, that doesn't matter. By doing it bit at a time, you'll get that shape still. And you just move it in with your fingers. Yeah. Like that. And that is perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Can you see that? I'm just going to keep going. Nine minutes already. Wow. not turn it right up to the corner because that's it's like a one move thing you've got to do and you've got to do it really quick that looks all right so you do a little v in the corner and you pop it on and twist it straight away Ooh, not quite got it there then like that. 
and you just put a little pucker it's only a little pucker in there but it saves you cutting it and you always make sure you've got enough of the lace this is quite a, a bit I've got on this roll And then what I'm going to do is just chop that bit off so I can work with the rest of it. And then again take that up to the end. And then if you're very careful, you can just, if you've got sharp scissors, you can, just snip off these ends. Not quite got that. So I'm just going to pop that on there. And then like I say, cut that off and that's fine. And then when you bend it back, you've got and look at that isn't that gorgeous such a pretty pretty little purse now I could if I wanted to um, let me just show you this I could if I wanted to do it across here and I'm not too sure I need to do that I don't think I do to be honest so we can leave that just edged and um, I just think that it's a pretty pretty little purse isn't that gorgeous you know you've got the ends done nice and neat it's all really neat now i've not finished so i'm going to decorate it still you know me i'll bling anything off i can <laughs> don't care so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some and i'm only going to do it in one corner now i have fished these out because i've got gold trim for the elastic and i was thinking oh god i just thought of something now look i might have to do that again because I didn't put enough, oh there we go, I didn't put enough um, elast uh, you know, the knots in mine, so I'm going to have to redo that, but th to show you it's fine. Right, so I'll just have to be careful as I lift that over, it's because I pulled it. Right, now I was going to put some of these on, and I might still do that actually, so I'm just going to cut these down to the size I want. Do you remember these have to come off that little thing I bought at the shop? Make sure they're all the same size. Now I've three of those. Mm, might need four. I'll cut those down as well. But I also I just won't be a minute. I just want to get something. Uh, I don't know what I've done with them. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, never mind. I don't know what I've done with them. I I, I do have. I thought I had them there actually. Let me just try again. No, now. Oh, what a shame! I did have some sprays um, made up, but it doesn't matter. I'll just use these. What time you're 14. Right, it's going to go off, so I'm going to come back because I've still got a few bits to do. And I'll have a look for the sprays because I do want one of those on. So I'll speak to you soon.